Now let's briefly talk about optical disks. An optical disk is very similar to a hard disk in that it has a platter that rotates and we store the bits on the surface of the disk. The difference is that instead of there being a head that needs to be placed very close to the disk surface, we can shoot a laser to the surface and the reflection from the material here will tell us whether we have a zero or a one. But many of the other properties of the optical disks are very similar to hard disks. They have tracks and so on. Unlike hard drives that tend to be closed units, so you don't just insert a new hard drive into the machine and you don't carry one with you usually, optical drives don't need the laser to get that close to the surface, so the smudges or dust are less of a problem for it. Basically, if there is a speck of dust here, it doesn't scratch the laser as it rotates. But a speck of dust will scratch the magnetic head as it rotates and probably glue itself to the head and then the head no longer works. So hard drives have much more of a problem with dirt, so they need to be in an enclosed case. Because optical disks suffer less from this problem, we often see them in the form of CDs and DVDs that we can carry around and even though they get dirty, we can still read data from them. But as a result of them being portable, they need to be standardized so that we can put a CD or a DVD into any drive that we want. And this standardization helps improve portability and their usefulness, but it limits the rate of improvement because the technology improves, but then that technology needs to make it through a standards process where companies agree that something will be a standard and only then make it into products. So really the technology can improve relatively rapidly, but we don't see any of that progress until a new standard is decided on at which point products are released. In contrast, with hard drives, the whole enclosure needs to obey some standards about how to connect to the rest of the computer, but what happens inside the enclosure can be the latest and greatest technology in magnetic disks. So usually optical disks are used for pretty much carrying the data around, storing music, movies, and so on.